Hey guys, it's Brie. So it's like 2.30 in the morning on Friday, not Friday, Sunday the 2nd of November. Um, I've just woken up to the most horrific sensation ever. Um, I haven't actually started my period just yet, but I'm right about to. Chills, kind of, not even that much pain along my abdomen, but kind of almost there pain. Um, really bad nausea. I'm going to have to take something. Um, and yeah, just really shaky. So, that was horrible. It hasn't even started yet, so I don't know how bad it's going to be. Obviously it's going to be painful, which sucks, but... Hopefully I can control it with my medication and we will see. So it's like a quarter to three in the morning now. Um, oh, just horrible. I'm sucking on a Travella tablet so as to get rid of my nausea and it does seem to be helping. I really, really do recommend them. In fact, I've got the packet right here. These things are like seriously amazing. Um, I think it was the nausea, and I've also calmed down a bit with my chills. I think it is the nausea. It gets me worried. I feel like I'm going to throw up and then that kind of freaks me out a bit. I mean, I've thrown up tons of times now, but it, you don't like doing it. Nobody does it, I think. Um, I'm still a bit shaky. It's just a case of panicking. I'm not even in pain right now because I took a paracetamol, well, not paracetamol, um, a nerve and pain relief tablet uh, and two to three hours ago, that sort of time. And it doesn't seem to be even painful anymore. Like, I'm not getting anything... But one thing I am starting to get is chest pain, and this, I really hope this doesn't get any further because chest pain absolutely kills me. Um, I've got costochondritis, which is a inflammation of your rib cage. so there's basically like a bristly inflammation that's growing on my rib cage, and every time I breathe deeply, my lungs catch on it, and it freaking kills. Oh, so I don't want to have to do that, because if that happens, I'm going to go and have to grab mum, um... And at the moment, I've managed to avoid it, which I do normally need to grab her because I'm getting shaky. My hair's kind of out here. I'm trying to drink lots of fluids, you know, and distract myself just watching random YouTube videos, reading a book maybe. Um, yeah, just, oh, I hate it. Wish it wasn't that painful. Oh, yeah, I have been vegan for most of this month, uh, so I haven't, I haven't been strictly vegan because I'm still trying to work on getting off meat. But I haven't had dairy for not like three weeks now, which I know is nowhere near long enough to give it a decent trial. You really need to do it at least 12 weeks to see any sort of result. Um, but I just had, you know, hoped that something would show. It still might. I think everything feels worse at night because it's like dark and scary. But yeah, I'm starting to feel better now. So hopefully I can get to sleep relatively quick soon because I've got Megan today. Um, I'm going to go and take it to the park, so hopefully I'll film that, if I go. Oh, gosh, seriously. Um, what else? I'm not using my, so I haven't used my essential oils this month. Um, I do have some, but I'm just, basically, because of this scare at the moment, I just, when I'm like this, I just go straight for the conventional medicine, because I know it works, and I really need to get out of this as soon as possible. And I always say, if it happens at night, that's when I don't, worry about it I take it because you know lack of sleep makes everything worse with your period um the next morning so get as much sleep as you can and for that I will willingly take medication but if you're wondering why I'm tapping my chest it's a technique that we use to distract the pain signals so you can't feel the pain breathing deeply would usually help to get through pain but breathing deeply makes your lungs catch on the bristly inflammation so yeah that's one thing I have found helps with the period of pain, breathing deeply. So yeah guys, um, I'm going to go. Hopefully I'll see you in the morning um, and give you an update then. So it's now almost 6am and I still haven't been to sleep. Um, I can't tell whether it's a stomach bug or just nausea from my ME, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, chest pain from that as well, what's well, costochondritis. But, um, yeah, the, well, you can see I've got a bucket by my bed because I keep feeling nauseous. Um, I've had my mum up with me watching the Royal Ballet live class they did on, like, October 4th. 
Um, and I'm just watching random videos on YouTube of girls getting their pointches fitted. I don't know why, but I find pointy fitting is really kind of relaxing. Just me, but I guess anything that helps is great. Um, it's it's so annoying because I feel okay right now, but as soon as I try to go to sleep or kind of relax, I can't lie on my side because that kind of causes my muscles to cramp. I haven't even started my period yet. I've I've been checked. I've been to the loo. I've been checked. I've checked and I've been to the loo. Um, but it still isn't here, so that's kind of worrying. But oh, it's just really annoying. I did take another Nurofen tablet because it was two hours since I took the last. Well, two or three hours since I took the last one. At that point, um, and I'd only taken one beforehand, so that was my second one. Um, yeah, it just sucks really. Ugh, I can't because I can't go to sleep, and I really want to because I want to go and see Megan today um, at two. So hopefully, I can get some sleep. I have had two hours sleep, but that's not nearly enough, especially to deal with the little almost one year old. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's just oh. Things we go through as girls, but this is part of the reality of it. Um, I haven't had my blood test yet to see if I could have endometriosis. Um, they've got to run that to see if it's likely I have it, and then my doctor will decide whether or not I should have a laparoscopy, which I really don't want because I do not handle anaesthetics well at all. Um, and the type I need, I would be need to go on general. So, yeah, I'll have to see. But anyway, that's what's going on, guys. Hopefully I can get some sleep and update you in a bit. Well, it's now 12.30 uh, p.m. on Sunday. I woke up at 12 because I didn't get to sleep till 9 a.m. So I've had roughly around four hours sleep in total last night. But um, I still want to go and see Megan today. So I think that's the only bit of exercise I'm going to do. We'll just go and see her for an hour and uh, maybe take her to the park, get some fresh air. I think that might help. Uh, then just rest for the rest of the day because it's so weird. I still haven't got my period, but I know it's coming to take because it's the 29th day, always comes on the 29th day, and I'm cramping like crazy. Sorry, that's my phone. Cramping like crazy, and I just I don't I don't understand it. I think it's more like nerves, just worried about how much it's gonna hurt. But it, you know, it's horrible because you wake up and chills, you're sweating, you're getting cramping, you're feeling nauseous. It's just oh. It's, horrible. Anyway, I have taken one Nurofen tablet this morning and hopefully that will help. So I will update you guys soon. Oh, I almost forgot. This is um, what I'm having for breakfast. Just some dry toast, a uh, little bowl of jam to dip it into if I feel like it. Dry toast is always really good for nausea and unsettled stomachs. And then just some orange squash because um, I, I can't really drink water right now. It will make me feel really sick, but I need to get liquid inside me obviously. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. So to go and see Megan, I'm going to put on this 8 inch light flow two piece creation just in case I start while we're out. Uh, because I am pretty confident I'm going to start today, I just don't know what time and this should hold everything it needs to. So this is the outfit of the day. Uh, just a check shirt because I can get away with wearing this without a bra because like hell that's going to happen today. Not after my chest pain attack last night. I've also got my Baltic Hammer necklace on again. Um, I don't know if, I don't think it really works anymore but you know just... Full ammunition today, that's all I can say. And then I've got just some three-quarter cut length leggings on because they're quite comfy and it doesn't put too much pressure against my belly. So that's what I'm wearing today. So we're about to leave for Megan's. I'm probably going to go in about a quarter of an hour, but I'm just currently stretching out my feet on my new Pro Art um, because they won't get better unless I do this every day. And uh, yeah, but that's what's happening right now. We've just stopped at Sainsbury's to try and pick up a birthday card for my dad. They haven't got the best selection, but I'm trying to pick one out now. I'm terrible at this, I can never pick them out. Uh, let's see. Who's that? Is that you? Can you say, we're nearly walking now? I'm 11 months old and I'm nearly walking. Hello. I've got a cold as well, so. Yeah, it's you. Do you want to show everyone you're walking? No, I'm too tired. I just woke up from a nap and hit my head on the table. You're walking. Come on, you can do it. Can I walk? You're walking. <laughs> Very wobbly. Whoa.
You dancing? Is that? Oh no, that's a bad move. Oh, What's this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> so it's now like basically 7 p.m. and I've just got into my onesie because it's really comfy. I have no idea what's going on because I still haven't got my period and I'm just beyond confused to be honest. I guess it could still start today. Um, the thing that's really kind of confusing me the most is that I haven't had any pain medication since, what, 12 today? So seven hours and I'm not cramping at all, really. I mean, every now and then I'll get a mild, very mild wave, but nothing like severe at all. So I'm just, I'm a bit confused to be honest. and. It, it does, this does seem to be, the symptoms of what happened last night are what happens sometimes when I get my period. The nausea, you know, the, the headiness, the heat, overheating, feeling just blur in general and cramping. That does, you know, go, coincide with my period and has for a couple of months. But I don't know where it's gone. It definitely hasn't got my period yet. So I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it's coming. I think it just hasn't decided to come just yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have put my bolter camera back on. I don't think that's the reason why it's... No, I'm not cramping, though. I think... I honestly don't know. I only had one pair of uh, ibuprofen tablet earlier on today. It's just... I am just b perplexed. Because I haven't... Nothing stressful has happened recently, I don't think. At least nothing particularly stressful from other months. I don't... I can't think of anything that would make me particularly stressed for this month that would put me put my cycle off. Um, I feel like it's coming, but <laughs> just don't know when. So yeah, I don't know what the next update will be, but we'll see. Hey guys, so I hope you can see me okay. It's now like almost 9am uh, the next day. It's Monday now. Is it Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. Um, I still haven't got my period. And today's video date. So I have no idea what, what that was uh, last night, not last night, yesterday night. Um, just just weird to be honest. The problem is I think it's more like nerves because I knew my period was due that day and obviously now it's a day late um, that my body went to nerves and the problem is once I'm in that state I can't get out of it. You know I in my head I'm going you know oh no no it's fine look I have medication I can take we know it works I can get up and move I can watch something I have to go to sleep you know we can just we can get rid of this but nothing helps. I just feel so nauseous and I'm shaking and doing all that by that point that I don't really know. It could also be a bug, because my parents have had a stomach bug recently. But it, it felt like it was period stuff, so I don't know what's going on. But what I've decided to do is I'm going to end this vlog, and I'm going to put this up as a kind of pre-period vlog, because I think I got some, some good-ish footage, and especially like you guys are asking about Megan and stuff, so um, she's almost a year old, can you believe? Mm -hmm, so cute. But yeah, so I'm going to put that put this video up as a kind of pre-period vlog, and then I'll start filming again when my period actually starts, so it's more of a period vlog, otherwise I think I'm, all my period vlogs are going to be starting like before my period even gets here and be like part waiting for period and part period, so yeah, I hope you don't mind that guys, I hope this video was kind of enjoyable anyway, um, yeah, I have no idea what's going on, so we shall see when my period actually gets here, because now I'm not cramping at all, like it is just really weird, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, bye, guys. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and like me on Facebook and Instagram. You can also check out my vlog channel. And, yeah. Also, don't forget you can buy cloth pads and wet bags from my website below. And I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.